हेलो एवरीवन यू आर ऑल वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 1129 एंड टुडे टॉपिक इज इन कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन ऑफ चंद्रयान थ्री स्पेसशिप एंड हाउ दिस डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स आर वेर एबल टू डू दी लॉट ऑफ एनालिसिस एंड लॉट ऑफ Uh, data was created and some of the elements were uh, discovered so up to number 3 i discussed and now the number 4 is which is very very important instrument that was is known as rambha and that is uh, rambha lp play load and this rambha lp play load was discovered by americans in the research laboratory and this instrument plays very important role in uh, analyzing the plasma status means i have already told you in previous lectures that once plasma is created means all the electron protons they are in uh, different state that is plasma fourth state and where all these electrons are knocked down because of the very very hot temperature that's why i mentioned you that uh, the sun is in plasma state in sun all the helium or hydrogen or whatever substances with their millions of temperature that is degree centigrade they cannot stand as a molecule or atom so they are all in plasma state and this plasma state and density of the ions that plays very important role in communication so unless the plasma chemistry is carefully uh, understood and analyzed uh, we cannot think that these ions can be useful for communication that is the main purpose of analysis of uh, plasma chemistry and to know the density of uh, the electron and this once the temperature is very high in that condition this electron they move very fast because of the heat and the density of all the ions will be somewhere dense somewhere thin so and if there is a lot of plasma formation it will disturb the ionosphere and for formation of ionosphere for radio signal for electromagnetic radiation uh, ionization and ion plays very important role so that is the role of the ramba instrument here uh, the ramba lp that is play load uh, the ramba lp play load is a uh, lambert probe and that was developed by us scientist Uh, that was Langmuir Irwin. So by his name it is given. Uh, that is uh, Langmuir probe, and it is uh, instrument used for characterizing plasma to study the plasma status, the ionic form. Uh, Rambha's development uh, was led by Space Laboratory at ISRO. ISRO means Indian Research Space Research Organisation. that is called isro and it is mainly used to study the radio anatomy of moon uh, bound hypersensitive ionosphere so that is hypersensitive ionosphere is very very important to be studied that is where the plasma of the moon and since uh, solar radiation is there and that's why the chances of plasma formation around the moon and on the surface is more and that's why that study is very important and this instrument is uh, responsible of uh, measurement of radio noise because if there is lot of density of the ions there will be radio noise that's why when even uh, we are putting our radio for the radio signal you might be hearing lot of typical sounds that is called radio noise so if suppose i know sphere where the 
density of ions are not proper or thick or more, sometimes there will be lot of radio noise. So that radio noise also we can study with the help of Ramha LP noise and that plasma induces into radio wave communication. And this plasma will induce this uh, radio noise because if the density of uh, those ions which are there in the form of plasma is more, the noise will be more, it will induce and it may not be uh, good for the communication, it may not be helpful to do the communication. That is the main study work uh, on moon and around the moon in the orbit, they are doing the study of the plasma status and the solar uh, heat and how it is forming and what is the intensity of those ions, the, especially the density, so that they can check uh, that is called radio noise and that plasma introduces into radio wave communication. Also this instrument can contribute to enhance the designs for upcoming uh, lunar visitors. Once uh, with this instrument all the clear chemical properties, physical properties of plasma is studied, it will help in future for other uh, lunar visitors, those who are planning to visit to moon, they will be having enough data. And I have already told you that all these data which are generated, uh, AI, artificial intelligence is playing very important role, robotic attached with artificial intelligence devices are very very effective. The only thing is that, if you remember I told you that uh, once it was in sleep mood, it was when there was dark and I can say night, sun was not there, it was in deep sleep mood, but since 22nd of September, uh, some of its up to 16 sensors started working, but still uh, the Indian ISRO scientists, they are trying to activate, but not successful. And nowadays, lot of fake news are in circulation regarding Indian channel, please don't believe in all those. Now I can say not only any this type of any scientific news, for any news, whether it is political, social, financial, whatever, always on social media I call it, that is communication war, where Chinese are involved, Americans are involved, Canadians are involved, Russians are involved, and they are creating very, very wrong perception and that creation of wrong, false impression and perception, I call it, that is communication war. So lot of Western countries are involved in communication war by creating some wrong perception, wrong rumor. Please don't believe fact is fact, Chandrayaan 3 is Vikram Lander and that is uh, Pragyan Rover, they did their research on the surface of the moon and they found sulfur, oxygen, titanium, manganese, chromium, iron, all these elements are discovered with the help of all these spectral studies and instrumentation. Uh, Visitors and it was on the board of the Chandrayaan 3 lander which successfully landed on the moon's surface on 23rd of August 2023. So here the Ramha LP play load is designed uh, by Space Laboratory of India uh, to make in situ measurements of the near surface lunar plasma environment. Actually they are doing the measurement with the help of this instrument near the surface of the uh, 
lunar plasma and that will determine about the radio wave and the radio noise for that they are very very much interested because of the complication and efficient complication in the future for that reason very carefully the plasma status the chemical properties physical properties of plasma their ions their density is very much under investigation that is the most important part uh, to make uh, this measurement near surface lunar plasma environment so that is called plasma environment even for our earth also in ionosphere when you are going higher and higher there is uh, plasma environment where uh, densely uh, ions are available that's why in our signal in our radio frequency we are always getting some noise and that noise is nothing but the density of the uh, ions in plasma form so and this is the most important region of the space of the moon surface and it is where the lunar plasma is most dense a uh, ramba lp play load will measure the electron density temperature and electric field that is electromagnetic field uh, because all these uh, ions which are responsible they must have electromagnetic property electromagnetic means uh, those electron they must produce magnetic and electric properties that's why it is called electromagnetic uh, property that is electric field in the near surface lunar plasma environment as we know the radio wave are affected by the presence of plasma and the more dense plasma the more radio wave are scattered if the plasma ions are dense they are densely their density is more then the radio wave will be more scattered the response will be very very poor and the measurement from the lambda lp play load will help scientists to better understand the near surface of lunar plasma environment and this understanding will uh, be important for design of the future lunar missions which may help uh, of receiving an understanding of radio wave in moon environment so the lunar means moon seismic activity the quantity of electron negative charge around the surface of the moon all these studies are done by the instrument that is called isla isla is the payload called lunar seismic activity it will measure seismicity around the uh, landing site on the moon what type of seismic activity is there and that is also moon quakes are common on moon surface and also and as we know there are no plate tectonics and uh, on the moon but the moon is, is still cooling and shrinking so tectonic plates are not there on the moon like in some case uh, areas in, on earth there are tectonic plates and that is responsible of earthquake so moon quake is there but there is no uh, tectonic plates and moon is cooling as well as it is shrinking and is continuously subjected uh, tugging by the earth chandrayaan 3 has total 7 payloads 
out of which six belongs to Indian ISRO and one is supplied by NASA and out of which four are on Vikram lander and two are on Pragyan uh, rover. ISLA instrument is used to measure properties of charged particles like electrons and other ions as well. The moon is surrounded by plasma from the solar wind as electrons travel fast in hot or in heat and the moon surface also collect lot of electrons and thus accumulate the electron. So moon surface is collecting lot of electron and that one is cutting, coming from the solar wind. It's rich in electron and surface is collecting the electron and that's why the density of electron which is measured by this ISLA is more and more which is accumulated negative charge and this plasma chemical property will be quantified by ISLA instrument. So with this I will stop. Thank you very much for watching the lecture.